Well, here we are at the liver and pancreas. This structure right here is our duodenum of the small intestine. And connected closely to that, as I've shown you before, is the liver. You've seen this in the rat, big red organ with many lobes. And beneath that is the gallbladder where bile is stored. We'll go through these ducts in the next video in a zoomed in picture. The pancreas is a little bit smaller in rats, very diffuse, hard to see tissue um, that is adjacent to this as well, and also adjacent to the spleen, which we will see in relation to bile production, see its role. Um, the pancreas you've seen as an endocrine organ, right? Producing hormones, it's also gonna produce digestive enzymes. So let's look at this more closely here. Here is our liver. Our liver produces about, produces bile. Sorry, I said that funny. Produces bile about one liter a day. That's quite a bit. That bile is gonna to travel to the duodenum via the hepatic ducts. That's these, there's a left, a right, a common. We don't need to know about that. Let's just go down this duct to the duodenum. This is called the bile duct. This is what happens when you eat food and you need bile production and release. When in between meals, your liver continues to make bile, but this bile duct here, um, this is, I'm sorry, this is the, um, the bile sphincter. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. There's a little sphincter that closes right here so that the bile backs up and goes into the gallbladder for storage. This duct here is called the cystic duct. So if additional bile is needed when you eat food, the gall, this sphincter opens and the gallbladder releases bile through the cystic duct bile duct into the duodenum. We'll, we'll look at that more closely, right, when we get to the liver in more detail. But important thing is that the bile is produced in the liver, can be released, and then excess is stored in the gallbladder. Now this here is the pancreas, and there are pancreatic ducts that are going to allow pancreatic juices that include pancreatic enzymes to travel to this common location here. The common location is called our hepatopancreatic sphincter, which you've seen before. Hepatopancreatic sphincter. There's also a little um, pancreatic sphincter there as well. So they can be separately regulated as well, just like the, the bile sphincter, pancreatic sphincter. So the acenar cells of the pancreas, as you know, produce digestive enzymes. Um, those are gonna travel in their secretion um, in the, the fluid we'll talk more about through the pancreatic duct to join with the bile duct. And if the hepatic pancreatic sphincter open, be released into the duodenum to facilitate digestion.